My name is Gary Cordery. Lived here in Oahu since 1980. Father, grandfather. This is an emotional meeting. You, Nani, you mentioned a moment ago this is not about Maui. This is absolutely about Maui. And my concern, and I'm, I'm actually speaking to each of you sitting around this table. Each of you have a placard representing an organization. And I have a question before I actually have my testimony. By a raise of hands, are, have any of you or are any of you participating in an event, in a restructuring as a stakeholder on Maui at any level, whether you're state, federal, private, or a private citizen? Are you engaged? Are you a stakeholder? Are you written? Is your name listed as a stakeholder? Of any of the redevelopment plans regarding a smart city, by a raise of hands, I would like to see a raise of hands. Because the information is out there. Raise of hands. I can tell you, Department of Planning, DLNR, DBED, Housing, all of you, all of these agencies, and I'm not saying to you directly, but you're here representing these agencies, therefore, it is your responsibility to tell the truth. Each one of these agencies have signed on as stakeholders for the redevelopment of a smart city in Maui. I'm asking you again, who is signed on? So, I'm sorry, but I asked for testimony pursuant to the agenda, and there's nothing on the agenda about smart cities. And if we could also <laughs> I absolutely love how these people always freeze up when you mention you know, 15 minute cities or smart cities. They freeze up and start acting like, oh, what, what? Oh, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What is this concept? We have no clue what this stuff is. It's all a conspiracy. But it's like, y'all are the ones that tell us your plans. It's no secret what they've been trying to do for to Maui for years. The people know. You might not know because, you know, you're at home, not really worried about Maui. And there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, there's been plans to turn Maui into a smart city, a satellite city. All of this nonsense for a while. There's a reason why the people feel so strongly that this is a land grab. Because they've been trying to buy them out their land and price them out of this community for a very long time. This is not something that just started overnight. Yes, the fires um, accelerated the situation, but this, is, this has been a long game, if you will. But they, they, they act so surprised, they dumbfounded, and they act as if we have no clue what you're talking about, yet Y'all literally tell us your plans. You blame everything on climate change. You can't stop talking about it. You can't stop talking about how you're going to implement these plans in this city and that city. And we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And then when people bring it up, it's like, oh my God, whoa, what? Why even tell us your plans if you're going to act stupid when people talk about the plans that you told them about? You know what I mean? But that's the type of gaslighting that goes on here. They'll literally tell you what they plan on doing. Then they'll do it. And then you'll be like, hey, we know this was your plan because you told us this was your plan, remember? And then they'll be like, wait, what are you talking about? That never happened. And then unfortunately, stupid people who don't pay attention, they follow right along and then they look at you like you're crazy. You know what I mean? It's just, it's an... It's a never-ending situation. It's a revolving door time and time again. But as I was talking about in a prior video, you know, they're having these meetings. They're, they're having a lot of meetings. And the governor, he signed this emergency proclamation weeks before the fire that gives him and his people, like, the ultimate power to do whatever they want when it comes to developing new homes, redeveloping Lahaina. There's no one that can stop them now at this point. 
And they had a meeting today. The governor was supposed to be there. And the governor did not show up. But a lot of angry people did. And they had a lot to say. So, instead of listening to me run my mouth, let's go ahead and play this clip. And then I'll be back to run my mouth just a tad bit more. And if this is just a money issue for you guys, get out of your seat, please. Nani, you speak about talking to the people. Hold a meeting in Lahaina Civic Center or wherever they have room for and hear the people, hear their stories, hear their heartbreak, hear their, de their demise. You can turn that off because I'm not going to end until I end. And I'm not being disrespectful. You cannot limit the people's voice to three minutes. This is devastation. From the day that fire went on here in Honolulu and all the other islands, the people are the ones who got the, the donations to them, the water, the food, the clothing. Guess what? Coast Guard, FEMA, trying to stop us from going in while the people inside Lahaina is suffering. Yes, we found other ways to get them there. And I could go on and on with the people who showing themselves on social media the celebrities, the president, come on. He couldn't even pronounce names correctly. Why was he here? A photo op or truly for the people? You folks here should be asking the people what they need. Not the representative sitting in state legislature. The people. Unfortunately, and I'm gonna read this real quick, and this goes to the housing authority Local authority housing or council housing is housing you can live in that is owned by the local authority. No, it should be owned by the people. You have to apply for local authority housing. Your council will assess your needs and decide if you are high priority. Every person in Maui is a high priority right now. There is tons of land in Maui. Why move them to the Big Island? Now you stress Big Island people. Now you take away from Big Island people. There are Maui people who came to Honolulu. I have a friend in here right now, Jessica, who housed Maui people. But yet we got no help. We got no help from the government. But that's how we do in Hawaii. We help. We take care. Correct, as Al said, malama. Please don't make this a job which all of you obviously have, without, besides those that are really trying to fight for the people. Make this your mission to get these people back on their feet. There's been lots of so-called celebrities saying that they're giving $100 million, all these millions of dollars. Where's the money? The money should not be going into Hawaii Community Foundation or any other foundation. That money should be going directly to the people. Do you know that with that $100 million, you can bring in lumber? And all the people who lost their homes, I guarantee you, majority of the men were construction workers. They can go in. Hawaiian Homestead, I'm, a, I'm on the list. I'm on the top of the list. Hawaiian Homestead, they do a self-help building, which lessens their mortgage. Why not do that? Put these guys in. Bring their morale back up because they just lost everything. They can help their community build. See, you guys think inside the box. We're thinking outside the box. It's not about money. It's not about money laundering. It's not about taking money from one program to the other so that you guys can collect the money. Take the money out of the limelight and put the people. The sad thing is, and I'm gonna say this even though this might not directly deal with you folks, the officials on Maui have not yet thought about the people. They are thinking about backtracking, backpedaling, name gaming. They're blaming each other. So people are getting fired. People are resigning because the top of the line, the top of the chain refused to take responsibility. This is not about, oh, we're going to make a memorial. I wish he was here because I would tell him to his face. Lahaina is not about making a memorial. I saw on so much social media that the banyan tree was more important than the people. It's a tree. Yes, it is something that's been there for decades. But guess what? In a couple more decades, another tree will be there for a couple decades.
It's not about making a memorial for the people. You want to do a memorial? Help the people rebuild. Get up on you guys' feet and move. Listen to the people because you know what? Our people have so much good ideas. And they're willing to put their hands back on there and help. Allow them to do it. Don't sit here in a round table and make decisions for the majority because you are very much the minority. And I am willing to sit at this table with you guys like the rest of us who are in this room right now and many more who are on the screen. Many more from Big Island, from, from Maui, from Kauai, from Honolulu, and even from Molokai. I have family in Molokai as well. As Soon as the fire went on, I called. Get venison, dry it, send it over to Maui. That's how Kanaka Maoli runs. We live off the land. I myself prefer Safeway, but we live off the land. Open the doors, Nani. Open the doors. You know right now you are targeted because of what they see what's going on. Open the doors. Let the people speak. Let the people do. I grew up in housing. Halava housing to be exact. Don't put the people back into a poverty level. They're, emotionally and mentally, they're already beat because of this fire. You throw them into a little town in housing, you are the one who's going to make their demise. They will have no hope. That's why we stand here in Honolulu. And I agree with the sentiment. This meeting should not be here. It should be in Maui. Mahalo. Mahalo for sharing your thoughts. You are right, I am targeted, and I would hope that my actions speak for themselves as I do this work, as I've done my work before. I know the messages that are out there on social media. I know what people are saying and spreading. This is why, in part, we are having public testimony right now. This is why, in part, I have said we will have meetings on Maui, and I welcome your input along with uncles, and I don't know where the other person went, but yes, we will keep listening and talking with you, and you will be involved in the efforts. So if you want to hear from the people, stop making meetings last minute. Because the people couldn't fly from Maui. They don't have money. Everything was lost. Bring it back to where, bring it back to where the travesty is. That's on Maui. Understand. I have no problem flying up to Maui. My family is from Maui. Like every other Kanaka, we get family on every single island. Mahalo Tita for fighting for the people. You have no idea how much that means for one person to stand up in front of all of this and stand for the people. Many, many Keokua's blessings on you. Mahalo. I want to emphasize we're trying to keep to three minutes so that everybody can speak at least once. Um, I'd also like to ask testifiers to be respectful of members at the table. Um, Please be respectful of members at the table. I understand emotions are high and people are hot. You see, the people of Lahaina, they want to rebuild. They want to stay in Lahaina and rebuild their homes, build new homes, build new businesses. And they're not simply just asking for handouts. They want to be a part of the rebuilding process. But the governor... And everyone else, they have a different plan. You see, this emergency proclamation that was put in place, their plan was to quickly develop 50,000 new homes just in time for when all of these people were displaced from the fire. But this was a plan that they devised somehow weeks before the fire, okay? But the problem is, what they want to do, ultimately, is they want to replace the people of Lahaina. They want to place them in government housing facilities and various other areas of Hawaii. The Big Island, other areas, you name it. Some of them even to the mainland. So their plan is, oh, we want to put you here. We want to put you there. We're going to put you in the projects over here, the projects over there. 
and then we're going to do what we want with Lahaina. The governor is already talking about building a memorial. The people don't, they're, they're not worried about a memorial. The people don't want you to be, re, they don't want Lahaina to be rebuilt into this smart city that's made for millionaires to come enjoy the view as they get relocated to other areas of Hawaii and America. They don't want to return to Lahaina just to see a, a little memorial in the middle of a smart city that, you know, that's standing on the graves of their loved ones, basically. A smart city that will now be built on the graves, the final resting places of their loved ones. They want to rebuild their homes. They want to return to Lahaina and live there and, and start anew. They don't want to visit, see these super huge resort hotels and a little memorial with some names engraved on it. But I, this emergency proclamation that changes a lot is very serious. It's very serious. And unfortunately, it was already put in place and... I don't know what can be done about it at this point. But for now, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all very soon in the next video.